You're listening to Russell Brand on Six Music. This is the very beginning of our radio show. That was Listen to What the Man Said by Paul McCartney. According to Cocky Trevor Lockie, it's one of the great melodies. It's one of the great melodies. It's one of the great melodies. Why are you putting this on, Trevor? It's one of the great melodies because we all share up the choices amongst us. Matt Morgan's here. He's in charge of the buttons. Matt, you look radiant. I'm brilliant, apart from my stomachache. Yeah, I've got a stomachache. Do you think it's to do with this colonic irrigation that we had last week? Well, I haven't been the same since. You haven't, have you? You've been effete, you've been delicate, you've been unusual. Oh, I not go as far as that. Just yeah. a bit constipated. <laughs> Whereas I've gone the other way, but let's not get bogged down in all that sort of rhubarb. Are you all right today, Trev? I'm tip-top, yeah, very um, happy to be alive on a Sunday morning. So, yeah, every day's a bonus when you get to your stage, isn't it, really, you poor sod? Me and Trevor did a gig last night uh, in Newbury, that's in Berkshire. Trev's wearing the same clothes, I notice. Why is that, Trev? Uh, because my washing machine is broken. What's happened to it? Um, I believe lie. that there's. A, it's not a lie. How? Do, what do you know about my washing? You machine? You just went because because my, my washing uh, all my uh, washing uh, all my washing machine is broken. What? Because of the Italian girls? Yeah. What's happened? Oh, what, I bet you're trying. I've waited. He's gunked up with flesh. <laughs> His drains are all gunged up with all sorts of gunk and people's bones and Italian girl hair. No, it's not. It's. Uh, I reckon it's the little clips from that keeps your collar stiff. I reckon they've got collected in it. <laughs> I don't know. Years and years of those. Oh, costiveness. Not fingernails. I put the outflow into the sink. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right, well, today's going to be a right nice show, isn't it? Because we're talking about sort of holidays, things that have happened to us on the holidays, things that you want on holidays, you know, holiday-related stuff we'll talk about. Also, we're going to be nice to Trevor. Oh, we're going to try oh, and be yeah. nice to Trevor. It's going to be... started off quite well with an attack on my washing machine. <laughs> Trevor's yeah. special day, because we've realised that perhaps sometimes we're not that fair to our Trevor, so we thought perhaps today we'll try and be nice to him, arrange some treats and that. Really? If we can arrange treats for you, some Trevor. Nice little Surprises coming up for you, Trev. There are nice surprises, Trev. You're going to have hell of a day today. It's going to be forward to it. After last week's debacle. Well, yes. well oh yeah, because we sent Trevor off to um, to Chariots, the, the gay massage parlour. But you didn't go, did you? I didn't go, no. Why not? Because I intercepted the taxi driver before he got there. <laughs> you intercepted what? him? A coward. In yeah, not a comedy. Coward. That was you a daring gone. thing. No, you didn't roll under a door like Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> in a tutu. He was wearing a tutu <laughs> while all this went on, of course. You know, damaged my ruffle. Should look at the website, actually. Yeah, nice pictures. pictures of him. We're never doing the podcast charts. Yeah, all right. Yeah, okay. Wild. Tell me something I don't know, Grandad. Yeah, but we did. We weren't number two last week, were we? Yes, we were. Yeah, yeah. we were. Oh. Yeah. Well, we're, we're still number two. We're Static, number stagnating, two. tedious, humdrum, number two. Number two, we all know what that stands for. <laughs> whoopsie. Uh, okay. first, whoopsie the first whoopsie of the day seven minutes past. No, what do you mean first whoopsie mention? I'd already mentioned that we both felt ill because of our things. We've got, <laughs> we got some good music. Dave Davis, he's a lovely young man. <laughs> 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 he's big brother Ray Davis. He's done records at all, but the pair of them together, they were unstoppable. Hang on, Paul McCartney, Dave Davis. What's he? What, what do you happened? want in here? Yeah, what do you want? What Metal. Do you want? <laughs> punk. <laughs> Metal, punk. I don't know what's wrong with that. We lad. don't play enough disco everything. on this show. No. Um, we've got Matt's cultural review. What, did you, what are you going to be reviewing culturally this week, Matt? Um, well, I'm going to be reviewing Superman. <laughs> <laughs> oh! The ah, opera. Superman. The opera. <laughs> no, the movie. Yeah. You came with me, didn't you? I did right. come with you. We'll yeah, do that nice. together. Get your hand out your trousers. What's wrong with having your hand down your trousers? It's only the same as having your hand on your head or up your nose or on a lamppost. It's just a place to have your hand. What's the big deal, man? Come on, you squares. Trevor's Sonic Enigma's coming up. We'll get some people in here. We'll call some up. Oh, one way or another. We're all in this together, aren't we? We'll have a right laugh. <laughs> Should we just... Holidays. Well, oh, yeah, send us stuff about holidays if you want. Uh, or anything, really. But holidays, that's the theme of the show. I mean, stick to the thing. What, Trevor? What is a Roman holiday? I don't know. Holiday in Rome, probably. No. Isn't what? It means something. It's like a it's busman's like... holiday. I don't know. Now, if anyone's on... listening to this show, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good way to start. What a tentative question that is, Trevor. <laughs> oh, should we just unplug the microphones and just attack you in our own private world? Just put you in a shoebox and piddle on you? Uh, if you have got a holiday story or you, want, you can answer any of Trevor's banal inquiries, Hang on, this section is on 6405. Middle aged. How? Paul McCartney, Dave Davis. If anyone knows what a Roman, Roman holiday, holiday is, it? let us know. Oh, yes, I wonder what it is. It's literally a, a holiday for the Roman battalion. I wonder, was it actually Pontius Pilate sitting on a deck chair, wheezing? Oh, we've got to be nice to him, though. T oh, I love Pontius you, Trev. 
Uh, me, yeah, yeah. 65046, you can text <laughs> on. <laughs> no, don't be no. After what he done to Jesus, washing his hands <laughs> of the affair, that pig <laughs> on a Sunday. Uh, so, yeah, email us, russell.6music at bbc.co.uk or text us at 64046. Now, oh, for a cheeky young upstart, Dave Davis. <laughs> when he was 16, his mum caught him in bed with five birds, so stop attacking him. <laughs> He's an icon to many of us. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, when he was 16, because the kicks had already started. With five women, you Five mean. women in in his bed. Birds is just a synonym for women. I don't, I don't know why like you that. see it as derogatory. I, I do see it as derogatory. Well, that's, that's probably it. why, Trevor, you're unable to have it off. Because you're simply unable to look at women as people that you have it off with. <laughs> I'm not but, saying that that's all they are, but it's something that they should be, Trevor. You just carry on. You just carry on. What, Trevor? I love women. <laughs> it's not me. I'm not a person who bungs up my washing machine with their remains. Let's listen to Dave Davis, Death of a Clown. I like this song. It's all good. Right. I've self indulgently requested this be played at my funeral next month. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's have a listen to it. Uh, at least it would cheer me up. <laughs> that was Dave Davis. He was feeling a bit downbeat for some reason. Him. Yeah. You really want that at your funeral? Uh, that. And, uh, Sing Me Asleep by the Smiths, that should do the trick. Why? What do you want at your funeral? Apart from the unabated joy and probably a public masturbation. I want that. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. Trev, what do you want at your funeral? Uh, by Lero. By the... Oh, no, no! No, be nice, be nice. Oh, oh really? Oh, by Lero? Sure. You know, I've posh. <laughs> God. You know I've known things about operas. What? It's a it's a peasant song from the south of France. How nice pissing. to have a peasant yeah. song. Yeah. When are you going to go to the laundrette? Look, these clothes have been worn once last night in that place. Well, you did a gig, Trev, in, in that, that sweaty, hot place. environment. Yeah. Yeah, we did a gig in an industrial it's sweaty. Thing. It's fine. How much? It pure. looks quite clean. You it's just right. smelt your armpit doing a Bruce Forsyth pose then. You just <laughs> went into a typical <laughs> Brucey pose and then sniffed his own armpit. Let's have a look. It, um, Trevor, someone. Matt Prong is kindly humouring you, yeah. answering your inquiry. He goes, A Roman holiday. Was when Julius Caesar went to Benidorm with his Roman army. He had a right laugh, apparently. That's from Matt Prong. Oh, I think that's a joke. I think he's mucking about, Trevor. Right. Russell, Matt, Trevor. Back in July of 2001, I was still in college and had two guy friends interested in me. It was like one of those trashy Japanese romance comics. That's well, not a reference yeah. that we've all got. Is it? No. <laughs> Trevor just went, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, those old things. Oh, the trashy Japanese romance comics. Well, for, for Trevor, essentially, any graphic information is poured. I trashy Japanese know. romance comics where a high school girl can't decide which cute boy she likes more. The epiphany was when both of them took me to a free concert at Centen Centennial Park, Atlanta, Georgia, where I got a double helping of flirting and dancing. Everything, everything was love that night. Unfortunately, I late, later went to grad schools, and now I'm sad and lonely. Terrible way for the falling in love on holidays. Tia Duran. Well, have you fallen in love on holiday? Yeah, loads of times with waitresses. Any, all the, t you're in a different, <laughs> all the service you're industries. different mood, aren't you? All the service industries. Like, anyone who serves me, a I, <laughs> I could fall in. Do you remember when we were in Ibiza? Yeah. And there was that family who ran that. All those sisters on mopeds with no helmets, and we fell in love with them. <laughs> Moped. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love those sisters. sisters. The moped sisters. They were lovely, weren't they? Yeah, that was good they? that holiday. On that holiday, when I was still heroin addict, remember we had to try and get tin for in the dead of night so that I could have some of the, oh, the, God, the yes. old heroin. He goes, I need tin. Were we in the same room then? This is what, that yeah, holiday where one of our room my been destroyed. thinking I was a woman. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I mistook him for a woman. He, he said to me, oh, we ne I need to get tin for to smoke heroin. Yeah. And it was like about two in the morning or something ridiculous. Yeah. And I said, well, you, you know, what are you going to do? Just go without. <laughs> you, can't, you can't go without Not one. understanding the nature of addiction. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a point. <laughs> I'll just have a little rest. So, uh, the only thing, it was my idea, I think, yeah. went to reception, this is so embarrassing, and said, can we have some tin foil? Because, and we took the camera, because we were there with a uh, TV company, took the camera to the Oh, the reception sorry. goes, yeah, hi, we need some tin foil. We're just, we're trying to make a, a, a reflector. So we need some foil to make this reflective. And, uh, and like, but the thing is, they would have to have cleaned our room every day. All the carnage and foil and broken was things it? lying everywhere. All burnt foil in his bin. <laughs> said, we had a, like a coat hanger and said, oh yeah, we're making a reflector. Yeah, we're using this coat hanger to make a reflector with. So, uh, yeah, if you could just have some foil. They gave it us though, didn't they? It is a reflector anyway. I don't know. I don't think they exist. The things, it? Thanks, Trev. Yeah. yeah. But what do you need the tin foil for? I mean, for a bit of the old heroin. Well, Let's not tell people how to take heroin on the oh, air. Okay, Heroin's bad for you. Yes, it is. Really yeah. bad for you. Yeah, you Thank are. God I stopped taking that bloody heroin. Oh! 
It's murderous, That's wouldn't stuff. it? Don't ever take none. So, how are you enjoying the special day, Trev? We've been nice oh, to you. Oh, been wonderful to me. It's, it's just it's like my birthday. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's completely different, isn't it? Different vibe. Absolutely. All different together vibe. different. Want a cuddle or something? No, thank you. We've got some lovely little pleasant treats coming up for Trevor over this three hours. I've, it'll be bloody blissful for that lad. I imagine this will. He's never had a day like it. Um, should we have some. What are we going to listen to? Oh, this is one of Trevor's choices. This will be yeah, good. Yeah, this will be brilliant, won't it? What, what is it? Well, let's just see. <laughs> <laughs> it's this one is, of the great melodies. This, this, you can well, guarantee it's that. It's not a great melody, this one. What, but what it's a nice it? song. It's a, it's a nice sentiment. I like the sentiment. Why? What is the sentiment? You'll hear if you listen to the words. <laughs> <laughs> Listening to things. It's called Lloyd, I'm um, Ready to Be Heartbroken. It's Are you ready to be heartbroken, I Triv? So, I think so. I hope it happens to you. I hope it happens to you as a result of a bus accident. Come in. <laughs> let's have a listen to it. I love you, though, Triv. A nice bus accident. I love you, too. Trevor's special day today on Russell Brand's Six Music Show. I'm Russell Brand. There's Matt Morgan over there. You all right, dear? Very well. Why have you got? Why are you twiddling that pen like a villain and looking down at something? What's going on? Just you know, I've got stuff to say. We've well, got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Matt's <laughs> got a message. Do. Don't forget, you know, Matt's not a simple guy. He's got a lot of beliefs, and he's going to share them with us now. Have you got any text messages there? No, I haven't. I've got a, um, this Luke poem that's been Luke in millions of times. Luke's been trying to get this in. Luke's a regular listener to, listener to our show. Hello, Luke. And, and hello, uh, Kelly as well. And a regular enemy of Trev. But it, I don't know if we can read this because it's Is it not nice? Thing. Is it anti Trev? Is it anti me? Would well, you want to look at it? Read it out. It's very long. Read it out Trev and if it's anti you we'll change it as we go. Uh okay the poem of Trevor. Trevor oh Trevor the little rotter kills rodents Don't for use happiness. that voice. This Trevor, hurry up! Today. You're oh, reading this too slow. I mean, I'm trying to be nice to you, but you're so it, bad at radio. I don't want to read it. It's horrible. Let, oh, it it likens uh, the Sonic Enigma to AIDS. Does it? Yeah. It's terrible. AIDS is much, much worse. Just cancel his little game so it hopefully fades. He's infected the show with his Sonic Enigma AIDS. <gasps> terrible. terrible. AIDS terrible. is a terrible disease. It is. Right. When I was nine, I went on holiday to Spain and was overwhelmed by the amount of beautiful topless girls on the beach, so I thought I'd get a disposable camera and take a few photos while quickly running past the fo while quickly running past the women. I was gutted. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah, it doesn't work. I, uh, exactly. You've been there. When I was, um, when, I don't know, when we, I was about 11 or 12 or 13 or something, mm. we started to be able to go abroad for holidays. Yeah. And went to France and it just blew my Where mind. Did you grow up in Russia? Yes. But it's weird though, in don't the you find? In world. Because it's, it's wonderful the first week, but then after, after, you just become immune to it, don't you? No. Never. <laughs> Still good. <laughs> Still I've never work. come immune yeah, to you naked women. You've never come immune, immune to it. You don't come immune to naked you women. Do, Every time do. I see one, well, topless at around. first is like striking, and then you just sort of take it for granted. Unless if, that, if it's know. on the tube, um, where does that ever happen, Trevor? I don't know. But I'm, I'm, but I'm saying if if a lady was topless on the tube, then a I'd lady. Then yeah. That's <laughs> not a lady, Trevor. If she's naked on the tube, <laughs> it's <laughs> unlikely to be Penelope Keith. Oh. <laughs> 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 Jelly. Jelly. No, I've got lots of pictures of my little brother. Uh, oh, Christ, man. <laughs> what a time to admit to this. <laughs> that little guy. Well, that was Matt Morgan's Naked career, everyone. Let me finish that. Let me finish that. I've got Morgan. little naked pictures of my I brother. I can fade your, fade your mics down if I choose. <laughs> well, there's no point censoring well, us. I'll leave that there. You're the one who needs to be censored. Um, no. Paul my, Gad, <laughs> Matt Morgan. <laughs> my brother standing in front of women in France. So, mm. like, well, I you used him as a decoy. I prop and said, stand there, stand there's another one. And took photos of naked women. Women. That is the oldest trick of the book, that is, Matthew. It's not as... No, the oldest trick is... Is run past, past quicker. I mean, this is, is a slight evolution. Run past. How does that help? You run past and go... Like that. It just oh, doesn't work. Because the camera is not... It's about steals. You've got to use your little brother. When I was on holiday with my dad in Pontins as a young boy, this, uh, I was like down the arcade bit of Pontins, and this girl came up to me and goes, uh, my mum <laughs> goes, your dad's in, having, in the shower with my mum having sex with her. And that girl was on holiday with her mum and dad, right? <laughs> oh my she, was, God. she was coming up a look. Right, was, all right. I was little, eight or nine or something. I goes along to the chalet and the chalet window was open. There was all curtains blowing outside of the window, right? As if there was a tornado within the room. I sort of looked in there and sure enough, there was my dad having it off with this girl's mum. 
And like, uh, she, I remember her being all sort of surprised and going, oh, like that, how people do when they're yeah. caught out having sex, you know, think she tried to cover things up, she didn't have enough arms. And then, uh... She didn't have enough arms? Well, because she had to cover up three points. Oh, bum, I see, right. front, bit, I and boobs. Yeah, right, okay. I understand the... <laughs> Trevor doesn't. Trevor's immune to it. No, I thought you were just... Trevor just seems to have like enough arms, like your dad had taken advantage exactly. of her. Exactly. <laughs> Paraplegic. <laughs> 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 I don't know, that's what it sounded like. Well, you know, that was a different holiday. <laughs> this year, Russell, <laughs> we'll be going to Especially the Morse 